the free man. On lane 8, you will see Jan Jantvet from Norway. Just like coming from shopping. Yigit Aslan from Turkey. We're swimming on lane one. Another Turkish, Mert Kilavuz on lane seven. Jovan Lekic from Bosnia Herzegovina on lane two. Vlad Stefan Stanku from Romania on lane 6. Krzysztof Kmielewski from Poland on lane 3. David Bethlehem from Hungary on lane 5. And Alexander Stepano from Russia on lane four. They are, we have six swimmers, 18 years of age, almost 18. Kmielewski is 17 and Stanku is 16. So let's see the boys who could pace himself the best. As this fifteen hundred meter is all about. How you keep your power, keep your strengths in order not to tire yourself out. Now it seems that the two Turkish swimmers want to go ahead, set the pace early on. Asla Yigit Aslan is first and Mert Kilavuz is second. Maybe they try to a little bit surprise the others as they are far from the others and we already see in the women's 800 meter final that the Turks can really set the pace early on and then keep up so you're not swinging next to each other actually they qualified almost with identical times of 15.22 both, seven seconds slower than the others, but it seems that they now have other plans and Yigit Aslan started to swim 29 seconds sub 30 was 50s while all the other boys are 30 35 30.5 30.6 50s they are going for so the pace of the two Turks so far is much better 
than the others. Another sub 30, 50 meter split from Aslan on lane one. Is every 50 meter he is 450 tenths of a second faster than the others. Now the others start to catch up in the middle range with 30.2, 30.3s, but Aslan still 30.03. Bethlehem is the one who a little bit geared up. But again, just like in the women's 800, the two turns. are ahead and Aslan especially pushing hard he could swim another sub 30 50 meter leg it's really like a chronometer 30 seconds around 30 seconds exactly 3005 29.76 30.03 29.91 a little bit slower, 30.22. And Stepanov also gearing up. He has 30 lap second and 32. So the middle three trying to chase Aslan and Kilavus. Let's see if they ruin their game plans. With this pace or not, but Kilavis is back below 30, 29, 78 was his last one. It's a little bit. Uh, so we have 30-31. While in the middle, oh, they are doing the same pace now. But the two Turks seems to keep up that pace. 30-04, 30-10. While in the middle lanes, all three swim 30-40 in this. But of course, it's still the first half of the distance. So it's just 600 meters, 900 meters to go. It's going to be still a long way to go. Aslan is no longer under 30, but he's still 30.24. Kila was 30.26. Something similar. The boys are doing in the middle lane, so the gap still the same. 2.3 and then have compatriot Kilavus and almost four and a half seconds of the middle pack. It's 
Still no sign of tiring or slowing down from the Turks. Now they are still gaining, gaining uh, just tenths of a second, but they are faster, still faster than. After swing 30.60, Aslan bouncing back to 30. 14. So again, he could keep up. And just Bethlehem and Stefanova close to him, besides Kilaus. So. See, they are not used 600 meters. Now, Bethlehem seems to be a little bit faster than the others, only three tenths of a second faster in this over last 50 meters. But Stepanov can also have. Something in the tank, let's see. Now Kilawis was faster. Bethlehem, his first split under 30 seconds, though it's just 29.99. He was half second faster than Stepanov, and faster than now than the two Turks. Perhaps he tried to launch a long finish and see if the Turks can keep up or not it's now it's Kinavus gained almost four tenths of a second on his compatriot but now it's Bethlehem who is the fastest on lane five yes. he threw in a 30-02 and he is visibly closing up to the two Turks Bethlehem was part of Hungary's bronze medal winning open water relay in the senior European Championships. So, and now Aslan is no longer close to 30, so it's 30 38. Kilab was also speeding up, but again, Bethlehem's speed is significantly better now than the others, so he manages to cut 10th, 10th, 10th after 10th. Now it's only 0.45 between the two Turks, so Aslan's advantage is fading, and Kilabus giving up, Bethlehem closing up. It seems that Aslan now is tiring 30-60s, while now Kilabus and Bethlehem has the fine speed but there is still a long way to go now still ahead Kilamus now is seemingly slower than the others almost half second far long, half second slower than the other two so now for sure Kilamus will take over the lead at the 1200 meter, almost sure I would say, but they are head to head, but Bethlehem is very close as well. Let's see the laps. Now Bethlehem also is a little bit of tiring. He was the fastest, but just 500 of a second fastest. While Aslan clearly is not at the pace he could he would have in the first half now it's 3.70. Kilavuz was faster. Bethlehem is coming up, but Kilavuz seemed to find another gear 
for this stand. Let's see who has more in the tank. Kilabus now is ahead. He gained a full second based on the 50 meters. Bethlehem is the fastest, but just 14 hundred second compared to Kilabus. So it's very exciting. Now it seems that Bethlehem will hunt down Aslan. And now in the last 200 meters, it's going to be a race maybe between him and Kilabus. They are now swimming identical, identical 50 meter 30.21 both. Also, keep an eye on the Russian, but maybe his finish is too late. Bethlehem is ahead of Aslan. Now he try to chase down Kilavus, but Kilavus keeps up. He can keep up the pace. Let's see if Aslan has anything to offer in the last 15. 150 meters, Bethlehem 1.64 trailing behind Kilabus. Let's see who can have now. Kilabus was two tenths of a second faster than Bethlehem, so Kilabus seems to have this in hand. Yes, he have more than the body length advantage when they turn on to the very last. 100 meters, it's Kilavus, Bethlehem and Aslan. Exciting, isn't it? Kilavus set to win this one because he was faster. He, he went under 30 seconds, the final sprint, and Aslan now pushing hard. Try to go for a Turkish one too because Kilavus is out of reach, I think. He is two seconds faster than Bethlehem. Bethlehem 70 hundreds of a second ahead. Aslan Kilavus was way under, and now they are gearing up. And now it's Bethlehem. What a finish he has! Let's see if this speed is matchable or not. Oh, what a finish! Great, great, great! Who can win this? Oh, 600 of a second. The touch favors Kilabuz. Amazing race. Over the last couple of centimeters, it was seen that Bethlehem might have had it. He is amazing. 26.90. He came almost two seconds faster than Kilabuz. But at the ball. Kilabos stopped the clock 600 a second faster than the Hungarian. A brilliant race, an exciting race, and Aslan could keep up. Fifteen zero two twenty two and fifteen zero two twenty eight. Fantastic race, fantastic race, an unbelievable finish from the Hungarian. And he almost made it, but just almost. So you see... The new talented Turkish swimmers really are here. Let's see if they can make it to the senior level. But for sure, that today it's a second title for Turkey. Fourth overall in three days.